Hey everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. The Feast of the Holy Innocents is a solemn day because today we remember the lives of the innocent children who were killed during the reign of King Herod. We all know the Christmas story, but we often gloss over the more tragic events surrounding the birth of Jesus. It begins with the wickedness of King Herod, who killed anyone who got in his way, including his wife, his brother, and even some of his own children. When Herod heard that the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem, he was greatly disturbed. Who could be king of the Jews but him? So he conspired to kill the child. But an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, telling him to take Mary and the child Jesus to Egypt. He was instructed to remain there until the angel told him it was safe to return. So Joseph took Mary and Jesus and they fled to Egypt in the middle of the night and remained there until the king's death. Meanwhile, Herod, realizing he could not confirm which child was the king of the Jews, went into an anxious rage. He gave orders that in Bethlehem and the surrounding areas, every boy under two years old should be killed, including one of his own sons. Herod's wicked lust for power was so all-consuming that he was willing to destroy the Messiah, whose coming had been foretold and anticipated by his own people for generations. Thankfully, God is wiser than the scheming of man, and we know that Herod was not successful in destroying the Messiah, but he did leave a trail of destruction in his wake. The innocent children, who were killed due to Herod's cold-blooded orders, are remembered today as martyrs. Even though they were only babies, they are considered to be the first martyrs of the church because they died for the sake of Christ. It's hard to imagine the pain and confusion the mothers and fathers must have felt losing their children to the wicked orders of a madman. But this feast day reminds me that no life escapes God's notice. Even the seemingly most insignificant person has value in God's eyes. Made in the image and likeness of God, no human person, no matter how small, is without purpose. If you have experienced loss, especially of a child, I would encourage you to pray to the Holy Innocents. We cannot always understand the pain and suffering we experience here on earth. When life seems unfair and the burden too great, remember this. In the book of James, we read that the Lord is compassionate and merciful. The Catechism says, On the cross, Christ took upon himself the whole weight of evil and took away the sin of the world. By his passion and death on the cross, Christ has given a new meaning to suffering. It can henceforth configure us to him and unite us with his redemptive passion. In the face of evil and suffering, we should remind ourselves that Christ, the perfect lamb, came into this dark and sinful world and suffered to redeem it. Therefore, no matter what suffering we endure, if we endure it for the love of Christ, even though we do not understand its purpose, there is value in it. So although we cannot understand why innocent children would be allowed to perish at the hands of a wicked man, we know that through God's justice and mercy, those children who died for Jesus' sake now reign with him in heaven for all eternity. All you holy innocents, pray for us.